So now you're going to see how we're going to make the halal beef chunks all golden brown delish. You're going to bake it down, make the water coming out. Uh, and then you're going to do it nice. And you're going to make a British traditional beef stew in the slow cook. You're going to cook them good, but you're going to like it. And you're going to eat them, you're going to say yum. And if you don't say yum, you don't like them, then you probably have a problem with your teeth bug to get. Yes, Chris also knows how to cook the food. Oops, he even spilled his spoon over there. It went down. Now, look at And yeah, looking pretty nice, don't you think? This little homebody, Chris Pinker. Podcasting is my game, and tonight I'm changing the game to the... Because people like my food, and food and celebrations are very important for people. Okay. We'll come back to that in a minute, because we're going to keep all the nice sauce, and we're going to put in the onion. You're going to like the onion, because the onion's got all sorts of good things for your health. I pre-cut the onions, as well as the garlic, and I've got little bits of savory herbs on the same plate. And as I was doing it, guess what turned out to be happening? A couple of the garlics had brown spots on them. And I looked at them, and this is what an amateur would do. Throw it away, it's not acceptable. If you had one bad finger, would you really chop off your whole, whole hand? If you had one bad finger, would you really chop off your whole hand? I don't think so. So think. Just like an apple or a potato. Cut out the bad spots and keep the rest. So now he's going to use all that wonderful renderings from this flavorful beef, which is over there. Then he's going to, um, I don't know. Oh, and he will put some tomato sauce inside of it later on, because that's what gives it a little bit of a boost of a flavor. Instead of red wine, he uses one-third of a cup of cheap-ass beer from an aluminum container to help thicken and season and flavor. And then he will do the potatoes, the rutabaga, the turnips, the carrots, and he has kohlrabi in his refrigerator, which is like a hybrid of a cabbage and a, and a Brussels sprout, but not, but... But sort of, but not, but not, but sort of. Okay, that's all for now. And we'll keep you updated as things progress. Oh, and it will be done in the slow cooker. The rival slow cooker, which I've rinsed with vinegar and baking soda in order to reduce my carbon footprint and stay away from bacterioids in the hand soap and the dishwashing liquid liquid. Bye. So as the uh, garlic and onions with the various savory herbs is getting to work here, you just thought I'd remind you that you're enjoying a Fritz Pinker original. You sure are, and why wouldn't you be? Because in, in them, well, I guess that's how Fritz stays in shape. He rides his bicycle and he lifts up weights. Sometimes he's been even known to put like sand and stones in empty 4 liter 3.25 homo milk. And he'll lift those up and put them up and over his head and move them around and put them down on the ground and go, Ooh, that was good to work out. And so, it's about time I get back to the kitchen. Because guess what? In the kitchen is where the magic is beginning to commence. And he's burning it. It's getting burnt. No, it's not. It's caramelizing. But there's a fire. Someone's got a fire in the kitchen. You definitely don't want a fire in your kitchen. Bad Rick. All oh, is well that ends well. He put out the fire. He didn't start the fire. It was always burning since the world was turning. No, he didn't. So now he gets to go back over there. This oven fucked up. It needs a stove top, I should say. It needs a recalibration on its internal thermostat region. It should die. Coco, would you please uh, get me my ventilator? I'm having one of those moments. It's not a good one. It's, the whole room feels like it's spinning. I feel like I'm losing my balance. I'm getting vertical. I mean vertigo. I'm getting something. It's weird. But then, no, I'm not. You're weird. Ooh, now there's smoke, so he has to get the window open. Otherwise, the smoke detector will detect the smoke, and it'll go beep. talk about speak <laughs> crazy you love it don't you admit how much you love it
I'm betting you the guy in that car is a real cocksucker. He has sliced and diced the turnips as well as more carrots, and he's actually pre did some carrots over there. And as he had previously indicated, you will only use a very, 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 very small amount of this to get all those fat renderings right out of the pan where the fire used to be. We didn't start the fire. <laughs> so now we'll turn it up a little and hope we don't get another barbecue in my gorgeous kitchen. See? So now, you just take the little plate thing here, and it's the plate, which is a nice one, and then... And go, ooh, so very gently, so as not to perturb them. Hmm. That's interesting. Yeah. I think a little bit more of that high quality iron horse wouldn't be a bad idea. Ooh. Then he'll just set himself to stir him for a minute or several. Because then everything's par cooked, and then you, when you put him in your rival crock pot, the crock pot gets gets to do its job. And who doesn't like doing a job? If you're gonna do a job, do it right. Okay. <laughs> Good. Oh, I didn't tell you. Remember the Scissor Sisters? Jake Shears was his name. That's funny because the shear is to move, take care away. Jake's shearing like for lamb coat and Sherpa Sherpa. Admit how much you love my cooking videos, and if you don't, you're gonna find yourself in a lot of problems eventually, and then... Then it'll be up to me to be the arbitrator and the mediator. That's right, I'll hang out with Jordan B. Peterson, and we'll teach you new psychological tricksy wixies. So everything's looking pretty happy over there, the sautéed onions. Stop! And Gorgeous beef, which has been crispy, brownly, golden, caramelized. Now we have to talk about the other potatoes. He's decided to mash the potatoes, so that's why those are there. Call Rabby. If, if it sounds alien to you, it's because I made it look that way. Though that poor little Call Rabby. It's a member of the Cruciferous Vegetable Family. It sure is. Guess what it's noted for? Anti-cancer capabilities because of all of its bioflavonoids. It doesn't have lutein in it. And tomatoes have things that are lutens. And then you can bring out more lutens and tomatoes if you warm them up. But anyways, look at that alien vegetable. Soon he will slice it. First he's going to pull one of his eyes out. See? Poof. That eyeball's gone. See ya. Hey, wipe that smirk off your face. Go to your room and do your homework and fold your laundry. That's a, that's a turnip nub. Always with the drama. So pretty soon he's gonna go, chop, 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 slice, slice, slice. And he will. You will make the video and you will love my homemade British style beef stew. With a little extra, extra, extra. Oh, as you can see, everything is in excellent state of preparedness. The kohlrabi, don't cry for me, kohlrabi. The truth is, no one ever eats you. It's kohlrabi, whatever. See, that's ready. That's the weight of anything. And then the potatoes, he's going to mash them instead. So now... He, what's he gonna do? You know what he's gonna do? He's got all the savory flavors in the world. Just like that, very gently, if at all possible. I think it's possible. Look at it, all steaming up. Steamy windows, that's a song by Tina Turner. Tina Melusi May Bollocks, it's a really not shit, buddy limits. <laughs> So what does he do now? He takes the plate and he puts in the call wrap. He calls. He's added flour and he'll whisk it. Take that fork and the spoon. There's the flour. This kind of flour, where did it go? It's the Robin Hood flour. It's okay. All multi-purpose for thickening reasons. And then he goes like this for a while. And we'll wait. Mm, my fat 
fetishizing your favorite food fantasy? Darling? Could be. Ow, he dropped it. Nope, don't pick that up. Get a new one. Right out of the drawer that has all the special stuff. See, he has another one. Let's go whistle. Whistle while you work. Hitler was a jerk. Mazzolini kicked his weenie. Now it doesn't work. Ugh. It's great. Guess what else is going on? Someone's hungry. Look at how hungry somebody became. Oh, he's an horrible to look at. He's just a worst fish in the world. Mm. <laughs> Maybe the other one, he's like... <laughs>